Mr. Feral <laughs> <Feral> Zombie. <laughs> oh, we sent him down two floors. Look at that. <laughs> oh, man, I love it when stuff like that happens. It's completely unintentional, but he deserved it. Welcome back, everybody, to 70s, and I'm an old guy gaming, and we play 7 Days on Insane Difficulty. The zombies are all set to nightmare speed, and it is Alpha 19.1 Build 8. In this episode, ladies and gentlemen, we uh, we have a turn-in to do. Uh, we have a treasure quest to do, because I found a treasure quest the last time I played uh, Nicole's Treasure. Uh, and I, I already read it, so it's, and it's only 389 uh, meters from here, so we're, we're going to go ahead and do that. And then we have a couple more quests to do as well. We have one point, <clears throat> and I'm trying to decide if I want to just finish out Sexy T um, with that one point. Yes, I do. Okay, it's been decided. <laughs> the other thing I was thinking about was getting uh, just one point in lockpicking so we can make lockpicks, but we can do that next time maybe. Um I I'm pretty much have everything in the strength tree that I wanted to get with maybe the exception of another point or two in skull crusher. But see, the thing is, is I don't use the sledgehammer as my primary weapon. It's my finishing weapon. Um, <clears throat> so I probably won't, I probably won't do that. Um, what we're going to do now is we're going to shift our focus, um, possibly to perception, because if we do that, we can get our demolitions up. We can get our, um, salvage operations up. We probably should think about putting some points into Lucky Looter. That would not be a bad idea. Um, and, you know, like I said, the one point in lockpicking. So there's that. But we also want to be looking at fortitude as well because, you know, we found that um, tactical assault rifle uh, schematic in the last episode, but I don't want to make it until I can make a good one, which means we're going to have to get points up in this. Uh, we can also... You know, throw some points into things like pain tolerance and healing factor um, in here. So those would be the other ones. Oh, and living off the land. Well, I guess we only need three points. Oh, shoot. And we can get that at five, too. Yeah, we need to do this so we can get a garden going. Um, so fortitude uh, or perception. Those are really the two that I'd like to focus on uh, next. At some point, we're gonna go. We're gonna do a deep agility build, uh, but we might not do that until we do a respec. And then uh, intellect, uh, better barter. If we put some points into that, we would have better stuff at the trader, including potentially like augers and um, crucibles and things like that. So, you know, stuff to think about. So, I guess I just need to decide, you know, which one is really the next most important. Uh, for us to do where we currently are in the game itself. So, hmm. Yeah, I'm I, I'm not sure. It sure would be nice to, to get a farm going, and it wouldn't we'd only have to get to level five to do that. For a machine gunner four, we need fortitude seven. And we can get an effective fortitude seven because we do have the tough guy glasses, so we'd only have to get it up to six, just like we did with the um with strength so let me think on that and i will let you know what we decide to do but i think regardless we're the next point we're probably going to put into lock picking just so that we can make our own lock picks and then we don't have to worry about you know getting the safe cracker candy or you know not being able to break into something via lock picks okay so um, over here, I just got some stuff making up in the forge here, so it's just cranking out um, more stuff. We got uh, iron ingots and some buckshot, and I made a few more shotgun shells in there. Uh, this thing's working on more concrete. Let's put this uh, in there for now and put the iron in here. We got a nice little supply of iron. In fact, we got a full stack of iron and then some. That's great. Now, we're going to need some of that for the horde base again. And I think uh, we're ready to set out. So let's see. We've got a shovel here. Oh, you know what? I could... I need two more parts. If I can find two more steel parts, then I can make a steel shovel. But we're going to have to wait until we either find those parts or we find like a level one steel tool that I can scrap. Uh, but they're, they're fairly easy to find. I haven't had too much trouble with that. So we'll just have to, you know, go with the iron shovel 
for now. How's our food? Food's pretty good. Um, why don't we take a couple of these because we'll get the stamina increase uh, by drinking them. And we'll take one coffee with us as well. Okay, let's go do this. Let's go do our turn in first. Then we'll do uh, the treasure. And then we'll work on a couple more quests. I'm not sure off the top of my head when this video is going to uh, release. But it's going to release very close to the time that I have to leave on that business trip to Vegas that I told you about in the last episode. So I just want to keep reminding you of that. And... Um, I'm not sure at this point. Today is uh, October the 7th, so I'm trying to re pre-record as many of these as I can. And it might be that I'll have enough videos out, um, you know, to keep you guys you go. going for the entire time that I'm gone. We'll have to see. Okay, so this is tempting. This is tempting. Um, no, actually, it's not, because we already got one. <laughs> okay. Uh, this one's actually better, but let's just... I mean, we can make the shotgun shells now, but... That's worth two ninety. That's worth four. Oh shit! This is worth a lot of money, you guys. Um, yeah, you know what? We can make shotgun shells. I think I'm gonna take this by virtue of the fact that it's worth five hundred bank. Um, when do you reset again? Day twenty five. Okay, what I day is it now? Twenty three. Money the moment I laid eyes on you. We have checked your inventory, right? Do, 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 do. Yeah, I believe I have checked his inventory. Okay. Uh, we don't need quit wasting my time. We don't need that. All right, so let's do this. Let's take the mod off of here or mods off of here. Um, and this one is 70 block damage versus the one that I made is only 61. So yeah, this one is significantly better. So we got a better shovel now. We're gonna, gonna repair this guy, and then we're gonna be able to sell him for almost 500 bank. Whoops. Um, is there a a sugar butts in here. There isn't, but we will buy. Um, well, here, let's sell this first, and then we'll we'll buy all that stuff in there. Nice. Time to move on. And let's also take his next job. Uh, so let's see, we got. He's fetching clears. This one's pretty close. Um, that one's even closer, but that's just a fetch. Fetch and clears. A assignment for you. Oh, shit. Isn't that Interest. what we're already going to do as business trip? Well, we'll take... Good if we deal. are, we are. We'll take them both. Okay. Let's get the stuff out of here. Uh, because we need to get another level before we can do lock picking. I'm just going to take that. Uh, we're going to take all the grain alcohol because I can now make large first aid kits and I already have some as you can see there. Uh, we don't need the red tea or the yucca juice. Got plenty of that stuff. All right. So let's go do Nicole's treasure next. It is very close by. Hopefully it's not like underneath a building. And then we also have a couple of business strip quests now. I thought it was gonna one of them was here, but maybe not. Maybe it's a little further out. So, yeah, looks like Nicole's treasure might be right out in the flat area. That's perfect. Just where we need it to be. Uh, hopefully not under the road, though. There we go. Oh, look at that. There's a stump right in the center. Okay. Let's wear these because they do reduce our dig radius. I don't know, it didn't look like that circle shrunk any. Uh, let's grab this. And we got some honey. Beautiful. Alright, we're going to pop a coffee. We're going to pop a boiled meat. And that gives us the, the stamina, extra stamina buff there. And let's get to digging here. Okay, this isn't uh, one of the ones that we get jumped by Zeekers, uh, but I, I do only have two lockpicks. So if that doesn't work, we're going to have to break into this the hard way. All right, one last chance. Oh, wait a minute. We, we bought that... Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can we still use this without a lockpick? Doggone oh, it, I screwed up on that, didn't I? Because we don't even have a lockpick left now. 
Oh, that wasn't very smart. Okay, well, I guess I'm going to be busting into a 7,000 hit point chest. I'll see you guys in about 10 years from now. Actually, it won't take that long. Yeah, I know. That wasn't my smartest move, but shit happens. Okay. That didn't take that long, actually. Uh, we do have Lucky Looters on. Um, eye candy. I don't know if this matters or not, but we're gonna we're gonna take it. Forty three hundred and thirty two coin. That's not too bad. And then yeah, the rest of that stuff's pretty decent. We don't need this, but we'll take it anyway. Okay, well I'll tell you what. I'm gonna go uh, drop some stuff up at the house, and then I will meet you um, at our quest location. Which is over in, oh, over in Trader Joel's town. Okay. All right, guys, we are at the business strip. I think that this, the fat loots on this one are up in the this corner over here, if I remember correctly. So, oh, you know what? I never actually went back to the Shamway store and got all the rest of the food out of there. I should do that. I should do that. Uh, also, I stopped over at Trader Joel's, and I, f I forgot to loot his bookcase. Uh, so I looted it, and I got Spirit Hunter Volume 6 and Lucky Looter Volume 4. Letters of the New Silver in the pockets, find more lead and loot. Don't actually like that one, because I get tons of lead from mining, and I'd rather not take up inventory sp uh, space with it with in loot. But I'm reading it so that I can, of course, uh, you know, get the, the bonus for reading all of them. So... I suppose we could stand to eat that now. We'll save that later. I got all that stuff out of his vending machine. Uh, we're not doing scrap iron any longer. And um, I think we're good to go. Okay, so let's nerd pull all the way up to the corner of this building. You know, I guess I'm not 100% positive that's where the loot is in this place. I guess there's one way to find out, right? One way to find out. The reason I'm a little unsure is because the building, if this was the building I think it is, there's there was like a little broken area in the corner, and I'm not seeing that, so let's just kind of go cool and quiet here. Can't see because of the tree. Oh, yeah, you know what? I think the loot's in that hole over there. We've got an irradiated Ronald McDonald over there, though. All right. Well, we know how to deal with that guy. Oh, by the way, I didn't mention this, I don't think, in the last video. But Horde Knight 21, and I, I actually saw this happen to me again. There's a bug where if you throw... A pipe bomb and you continue to hold another pipe bomb in your hand it'll detonate the one in your hand that's what was actually happening to me on Horde Night, but I didn't realize it at the time I did mention that you know when I edited the video uh, so yeah so what when we throw these things we got to make sure that we change to something else before it detonates or it'll blow up uh, what's in our hand at least if we're in, in fairly close proximity so uh, that was a little bit of harder throw than I meant to do. Okay, so we're going to light this one, throw it, but then we're going to switch weapons. Dang! All the irradiateds. Okay. I didn't really throw those very well. <laughs> Uh, you guys are like going, and you didn't? Could have fooled us. Okay, yeah, I think the fat loots are down in here. Hey, we get a pipe bomb back anyway. Oh, you know what? I think maybe, yeah. This is the building, building or the POI that I thought it was, but I was just in the wrong corner. That's what the deal is. Okay. That's what the deal is. 
But this corner's not broken out either. So yeah, anyway, whatever. Okay, let's see what we got here. I have, um, I do have some eye candy on the bike, but we're going to be looting this place three times over. So we'll kind of do the same thing that we did, um, the ver you know, uh, with that house before. I'm not taking those. Uh, here's a weapons bag. We got our first magnum and a yellow hunting rifle. Okay, that's not too bad. Do we have that magnum thing where if we hold in our hand we get the discount? Let's take a look. Magnum Enforcer. Doo, doo, doo. Nope, not yet. That is number four. So we need to find magazine number four. Okay. Working stiffs. Okay, we can sell that green axe. Some repair kits and some shoddy shells. All right, guys, I got to break this. So I'll see you in a bit. All right, let's see what we got. Okay, that's a nice uh, armor plating mod, polymer string, and a serrated blade mod. What do we have on here? A serrated blade. What do you know? Okay, we'll save that for later. Um, this, I'm going to chuck that. I'm going to chuck that because I'm not going to scrap it and dig up room in my inventory. And we can go here. And... We can either replace, it doesn't really matter which one we do, let's just do this one. That gives us one more point of armor rating. And I think we're completely armored up, or, or modded up in our armor. Yeah, looks like we are. Okay. So we'll put that on something else and sell it later. Let's do it. Tier 3 fetch. This is a fairly dangerous place. So, uh, that to be pretty exciting. I'm not going to do, like, um, loot everything kind of looting. Um, just kind of the bigger, the bigger stuff. Some Joe in there. Always want to hit sinks because of acid. Oh, and a blue wrench is an ammo. Is that blue wrench actually better than our yellow ratchet? So this does 50 block damage. This does 54. Okay. Okay. So this is the shotgun store. All right, gun racks. You know what? We better put these back on. All right, I'll take those and I guess we'll scrap those. Any of these shelves lootable? Doesn't look like it. Oh! I was just... Just as I opened this cooler, I was thinking to myself, you know what? I think there might be zombies behind there. <laughs> yeah, thank you. All right. Eh, we'll scrap that stuff, but actually, I'm... I'm Scrapping dice um, directly so for the paint. Not the paint. That's paint is that hard to make, but we'll do it. 
What the hell? There we go. We actually have one of those too, the actual mod itself, but now we can make them in the future if we so desire. We already have BDUs. I don't care about cowboy hats so much. But here again, let's pull the die off of both of those. Uh, this actually has one more heat resist than what we're wearing. I always get that mixed up. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, here. Let's, um, let's modify and get the die off of it, first of all. I have to look, because I can never remember. So this is 8 cold, 7 heat. This is just the opposite. I'd rather have more heat resist than cold resist, because we're not going to really spend any time in the winter biome. There's just no reason to. All right, so let's take this stuff off of here. We'll put it on our new uh, BDUs. And then this isn't worth selling, so we're going to scrap and scrap and scrap. Okay. Let's eat this just to get rid of it. Plus, we need a little more food anyway. And I guess we're going to hang on to scrap iron for now. <laughs> since we got it uh so we'll scrap the those pipes too because super easy to make okay i think we're finished in here let's go in here all right oh nice okay there's usually some zombos that come this way feral Yeah, that was a, a bit precarious, wasn't it? All right. Is there something behind here, or am I just imagining things? No, I don't think there is. Okay. Oh, yeah, there's a bunch of bones and stuff we can harvest in here. Okay, yeah, that's something, that's an off-camera thing to do if I remember to do it. thought there was a safe in here. Okay, we're probably going to get rushed from in here, maybe? That's the room we were just in. That's unlocked? Oh, I thought that was locked. It usually is locked. Unless I'm confused for something else. Could very well be the case. That's nice. I thought there was a Zeke in here. Maybe there was and we already alerted him. Did they change this place? It doesn't look very changed, but it doesn't seem to be exactly the same either, so... Yeah, maybe it is. It's It's been a little while since I've done this PI. There's a little office area here. There's usually Zeke's that come in there too. Yeah, the one thing that is a bit different is this, they, the, this little office area used to have a decent amount of Zikaruskis in it, and there was only just that one business guy. Let's check the coffee maker and the sink. 
There we go, got some acid. Not really too worried about the rest of it for now. Take the oil, let's scrap a doodle this and scrap a doodle that. And I think we're good. There's probably not going to be anything behind there. Okay. Um, I saw, yeah, I was going to say, I saw a brass lamp. Let's get that. Oh, wait. I don't think we want to use this. We might not be able to get anything if we use that. Was that the only brass lamp in here? I think so. Oh, nice. Oh, nice, you guys. Nice. We can make a blue pump. Because we have level 4 shotgun. Oh, beautiful find. Beautiful find. Okay. Yes, indeed. That's uh, probably what we're going to be doing um, ASAP. A blue pump shotgun. It's a beautiful thing. Okay, good. I'm glad I remembered to check the, the filing cabinet. And it had a hunting rifle schematic in there, too. We already know that, of course, but that's that's a pretty nice find. Okay, so let's see. We got to go out here now. This tree's kind of being a pain in the butt, isn't it? Okay, we got at least two Zikaroos. Oh, he hit me through the door. Not allowed, dude. Not allowed. I'm not going to put up with that shit. Let's uh, patch this up so we don't accidentally fall through it. We already looted that, right? Okay. That is a harvestable... Uh... Bending machine. Here we go. Mr. Fer <laughs> Feral Zombie. <laughs> oh, we sent him down two floors. Look at that. <laughs> oh, man. I love it when stuff like that happens. It's completely unintentional, but he deserved it. He deserved it. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to grab this just because I don't want to forget it. Because we get steel out of these things, among other things. Okay, we'll sell those. I think we're supposed to go out this way. <laughs> Jeez. A little too far away and duckbill mod. Nurse Nancy. I found a toilet pistol in the last episode. Oh boy, we're out of space. Okay, let's get rid of that. Okay, that leads us into the warehouse. Oh shit, which has lots of baddies in it. They got us pinned down, so we're just gonna take them out as they come down the stairs. Oh, I've got a twofer there. Mr. Farrell. Buckshot in the ass for you, pal. Uh, satchel. Um, hmm, this. Okay, since we're out here, 
we might as well unload. Okay, this place has a crap ton of cobblestone and cement, as you can see, and, you know, gasoline, but we don't really need gasoline. Uh, so, again, I might come back here and get this stuff off camera. Is there something down here? I don't think so. All right. Uh, if memory serves correctly, well, maybe there isn't anything over there. Thought there was, but I guess not. Okay, it's buzzard time. No buzzards on this roof, huh? Okay. This is the place that has all the irradiateds. Or had all the irradiateds. No, come here, quick. Gotta deal with you first. Fat loots are down inside of there. Um, yeah, let's just go do it. I still have my luckies on, right? Yeah. I was thinking about going and getting the eye candy, but we got to do this another, a third time. Don't wait. You know what, though? I think I have two eye candies now that I think about it. I believe I have two eye candies. Okay, if that's the case, let's go back this way. Um, why did I think I had two eye candies? I don't have two eye candies. Oh, for Pete's sake. Okay. Nice stuff for food. We'll take that and one of those. That will sell. That will probably sell. Yeah, look at that, an AK. Okay, let's check the ammo box. Chain mod, bow parts, and iron knuckles. And then the fat loots, which are still locked. Man, they sure like to give those uh, triple pocket mod thingamadoodles, don't they? Okay, well, we want that for sure, we want that for sure, and that for sure, and that for sure. And fortunately, we have we had stacks for all of those. We'll take that. This is not worth a whole lot, but that being said, don't want to leave it behind. Let's get rid of the iron, I guess. And we'll take that and sell it too. All right, guys, we got a bit of a problem in the form of a wandering horde down below. I had to do it. Oh, is she above us? Yeah, she must be above us. Alright, you know what? Forget it. I'm not gonna mess with her. <laughs> Looks like she took care of herself. <laughs> oh man, I love it when a plan comes together, even though that wasn't my plan. Yes, indeed. We'll take that egg. Hello, strange. Here is your reward. Okay. I'm not a big fan of hollow points, you know? Three four bites would be nice for those oh shit moments, right? Those last for two minutes. 
That's worth almost 500 coin. Yeah, you know, I'm going to take that one just because it's the most valuable. All right. And um, the next job we will do for you is very close. Only 61 meters away from here, in fact. Would you so, kindly help me? Yeah, we'll take that. Well, all righty then. Let's get the ball Okay, guys, rolling. that's it. I'm going to let you go here. Uh, like I said, in the next episode, we'll we'll go back to uh, the business trip. We'll do a chipmunk speed run through there. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm going to get all the con uh, the cement out of there before we start that. Um, and then we'll either come back and do this quest that's really close by, or we'll go out and do that one in the desert. So we'll just see. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video. Don't forget, um, starting on the 12th uh, through the 24th, think it is i'm going to be gone on a business trip in vegas i will try and pre-record enough episodes to keep you uh going uh while i'm gone but there might be a couple days towards the end of there where there aren't any videos but we will pick it up right when we get back okay talk to you later bye